I created a Champions League where only one club per league can participate. So it's really every league winner from last season that gets in. So in part one, we have the La Liga champions, Real Madrid, the Premier League champions in Manchester City, the Bundesliga champions in Bayer Leverkusen, Inter Milan, City A champions, the French Liga champions in PSG, Sporting won the league in Portugal last season, Galatasaray won the league in Turkey, PSV won in Netherlands, and Club Bruges won in Belgium. In part two, we have the Czech champion, Sparta Praha, Scottish Premiership champion, Celtic, Dinamo Zagreb, the Croatian winners, Shakhtar Donetsk, the champions of Ukraine, and Pauk, the champions of Greece. Young boys were the winners in Switzerland, while Malmo were the winners in Sweden. Jagalonia won in Poland, and FC Midtjylland won in Denmark. Part three, the winners in Norway, Bodo Glimt, the Austrian winners, Sturm Graz, Karabakh won in Azerbaijan. They are a new addition to the game. Ferenc Varos from Hungary, Apoel from Cyprus, both won their leagues last year. Helsinki won in Finland, while Shamrock Rovers won in Ireland. And then the Romanian champions, FCSB. After that, it gets a little bit tricky, so we added lower league winners as well, like Leicester City, who won the championship last year, and St. Pauli, who won the second Bundesliga and got promoted. Parma did the same thing in Italy in City B, and they're now in City A, while Auxerre won the second division in France, and Leganes won La Liga 2. Portsmouth won League 1 in England and got promoted to the championship, and Stockport County won League 2 in England and got promoted to League 1. Deportivo La Coruña were the best team in the third division of Spain last year and got promoted to La Liga 2, while SSV Ulm were crowned the three Liga champion in Germany and got promoted to the second Bundesliga. And the final club is the Italian club Sassena, who went from the third division to the second division CDB. These 36 clubs will compete in the new Champions League format representing the 36 leagues and at the end we're going to crown a winner. I absolutely love that this competition has massive clubs and smaller clubs so there's a lot of room for football magic and football drama. So the league phase of our one club per league UCL is over. Everyone has played eight matches and the top eight teams will automatically qualify for the round of 16. No surprise it is Manchester City that is in first on 20 points followed by another no surprising club. It is Real Madrid right behind them. PSG is in third. Inter Milan is in fourth but in fifth place it's the Hungarian side Ferenc Varos. They also went undefeated. Five wins and three draws. Sporting is in sixth from Portugal. Bayer Leverkusen is in seventh. They also qualify and the last team to automatically qualify for the round of 16 it is actually Leicester City. Places 9th to 24th will automatically go to a playoff to try and get into the round of 16 and 25th to 36th will be automatically eliminated. So in ninth place it's actually Deportivo La Caruña. Yes they had a phenomenal absolutely phenomenal league table in the Champions League. 10th place Club Bruges from Belgium. 11th place Celtic from Scotland. 12th Young Boys from Switzerland. In 13th it is Bodo Glimp from Norway. In 14th it is Leganes. 15th goes to the Italian side Cesena. 16th is PSV. 17th Galatasaray. Very disappointed in Galatasaray. 18th goes to the Austrian champion Sturm Graz. 19th Apoel from Cyprus. What a surprise. 20th Shamrock Rovers from Ireland. They qualify for the playoffs. 21st Dinamo Zagreb. 22nd Pauk from Greece. 23rd Shakhtar Donetsk from Ukraine. And the last team that is going into the playoffs is Malmo from Sweden. Karabag is eliminated, just came up short. Sparta Praha is gone. Portsmouth is gone. Jagalonia from Poland is gone. FCSB from Romania is gone. FC Midtjylland, very, very disappointing, man. One win in eight matches. They are going home. Parma also gone. A City A team this year. 32nd, Auxerre also gone. 33rd, Helsinki from Finland. 34th, SSV Ulm from Germany. Germany, 35th, St. Pauli. What a terrible campaign, bro. And 36th, they went to Stockport. So in the playoffs, to get to the round of 16, eight more teams will qualify, and it will be Dinamo Zagreb versus Deportivo La Caruña. Galatasaray will take on Club Bruges. Shamrock Rovers will take on Celtic. So it's Scotland versus Ireland. Apoel versus Young Boys. Then we have Sturm Graz from Austria versus Bodo Glimt from Norway. Shakhtar Donetsk versus versus Leganes, Malmo will take on Sassena, and Pauk will take on PSV. Who are the eight clubs that are joining the round of 16 after a two-legged playoff against each other? It was Deportivo versus Dinamo Zagreb. The aggregate was 5-2 for Dinamo Zagreb. They are in. But Club Bruges upset Galatasaray 5-4 on aggregate. Victor 
Chelsea man is out. Club Bruges is moving forward. Celtic was probably going to beat Shamrock Rovers, and they did. 6-2 on aggregate. But what a run by Shamrock Rovers. I didn't expect them to get this far. And young boys from Switzerland made a comeback against Apoel. So Apoel representing Cyprus is eliminated. Young boys are in the round of 16. Bodo Glimp from Norway is also in the round of 16 because they beat Sturm Graz over two legs, 3-2. And Leganis almost beat Shakhtar Donetsk, but they lost 5-4 on penalties. That means Shakhtar is moving on. Sweden will also have a representative in the round of 16. It is Malmo because they beat Sasena 3-2 on aggregate. And then Pauk, the Greek champions, they upset PSV. I'm not even sure if you would call that an upset. Both clubs are very, very good. 3-2 on aggregate for Pauk. PSV is gone. And so the round of 16 matchups are set. It will be young boys with a tough task against Real Madrid. Shakhtar Donetsk will take on Bayer Leverkusen. Bodo Glimt will take on Sporting CP, while Pauk will face Leicester City. That's going to be a very intriguing matchup. Manchester City has a very easy task against Dinamo Zagreb, and the Swedish side Malmo, they're going up against Inter Milan, aka Lombardia. Club Bruges representing Belgium will take on Ferenc Varos, that is representing Hungary. Also a very cool matchup. While Celtic will try and play spoiler against PSG. By the way, we do have some very random scoring leaders. It is uh, Andreas Skov Olsen from Club Bruges, 9 goals and 10 appearances, and Kyogo Furuhashi from Celtic, also 9 goals and 10 appearances. This is amazing. Leg 1 between Young Boys and Real Madrid. I assume that Real Madrid win it, and they do. They go up 3-1. Leg 1, Shakhtar versus Bayer Leverkusen. Shakhtar is definitely the underdog. Uh, I mean, they're still in it. It's only 2-1 going into leg 2. Moto Glimp versus Sporting. Leg 1. Who takes the lead here? I told you, this tournament, man, anything can happen. Bodo Glimt are up 2-1. Hauk versus Leicester. Now, this should be good. Someone will take the lead, and it will be the Greek side, Pauk. If Dinamo Zagreb can get any kind of result in leg one against Manchester City, my gosh. They scored three goals, but they let in five. Malmo versus Inter Milan, leg one. Who will take the lead? Probably gonna be Inter. Now, this one also should be good. Bruges versus the Hungarian side, Ferenc Varos in leg one. And no one does anything. It's all to play for in leg two. Imagine if Celtic gets a result at Celtic Park in leg one against PSG. <laughs> PSG, man. That's 2-1 Celtic going into leg two. City is up 5-3 on Dinamo Zagreb and Zagreb needs a miracle. Can they do it? Bro, 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 bro. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't do anything. I promise you guys. I've never seen a comeback like this ever in any FIFA game. And Zana Zagreb wins 3-0, 6-5 on aggregate. City is gone. Ain't no way it's happening in back-to-back -back fixtures, right? Malmo is down 3-1 to Inter. Are they coming back? <laughs> it was close, but uh, ultimately Inter Milan moves on. One of either Ferenc Varos or Club Bruges are going to the quarterfinals, guys. Which club will it be? And it is Club Bruges with Skov Olsen. He doesn't score, but he didn't need to score. 5-3 on aggregate for Bruges. Now, can Celtic hold on here and beat out PSG? They are away, though. Can they hold on? There is no way. PSG cannot win a Champions League, any kind of Champions League. They are eliminated just like City. This matchup is definitely finished, though. Real Madrid up 3-1. They are at home against Young Boys. Ain't no way it's happening for Young Boys. Yeah, it's not. It's 5-2 on aggregate for Madrid. And I don't think it's gonna happen here either because Bayer Leverkusen is at home against Shakhtar, and they do have a 2-1 lead, 3-0 for Bayer Leverkusen. Quite convincing. But in this second leg, I'm not sure what will happen, because Bodo Glimt has a 2-1 lead, and the winner moves on to the quarterfinals, the last day. Sporting has some work to do, and they do the work that they're supposed to do. Bodo Glimt, they had the lead, they bottled it. The last round of 16 matchups, second leg between Pauk and Leicester City. Pauk needs to hold on, but once again, they are away, and they hold Hold on, and they even beat Leicester City away 2-1, 4-2 on aggregate. Well, who expected these types of quarterfinals? Dinamo Zagreb. They have to take on Sporting. Pauk will take on Bayer Leverkusen. Real Madrid will play Inter Milan. And then Club Bruges will take on Celtic. The fairy tale story of Dinamo Zagreb against Sporting in leg one. And it ends 1-1. I think Pauk will have a difficult time against Bayer Leverkusen. So let's see what leg one looks like. It ends 1-1. You know what? 
they're still alive. This one is a big matchup, but I expect Real Madrid to take the lead in leg one. And they do. Two to one for Real Madrid going into leg two. Will it be Bruges or will it be Celtic that takes down leg one? It will be Celtic. Now I'm not sure if it's Celtic that's having the fairy tale story or if it's Dinamo Zagreb. Can Inter Milan come back? They're down 2 1. What's going to happen? Or is it Real Madrid? It is Real Madrid. It's Vinny. It is Rudiger. It's 4 2 and uh, 6 3 on aggregate. Real Madrid in the last four. Celtic is up 2 0 against Bruges and they are at home for a spot in the last four. Would be a massive accomplishment. There is just absolutely no way, man. FC 25 has gone insane. Celtic literally pulled a Manchester City, guys. How did Club Bruges win this game? Like two, it is Sporting versus Dinamo Zagreb, and Sporting is at home. Can Dinamo Zagreb do it again? There's <laughs> that's it. No, that's the end for Dinamo Zagreb. They were happy beating Manchester City Sporting in the last four. And our final quarterfinal: Bayer Leverkusen at home against the very tricky Greek side in Pauk close. Pauk is out. A very, very nice run, but Bayer Leverkusen is just better. And these are your matchups of a one club per league Champions League. Real Madrid will take on Club Bruges. Club Bruges, man. I feel so bad for them. This entire run only to bump into Real Madrid in the semifinals. And Bayer Leverkusen, they will take on the Portuguese side in Sporting. Best case scenario for Club Bruges in leg one because their away is just to keep it close. Can they keep it close? They kept it very close. Oh my gosh. This is probably the best result Bruce could have possibly got going into leg two and they're gonna be at home in leg two and if Sporting wants to have any chance of going to this final they also need to do the same thing as Bruce they need to keep it close at the Bay Arena where Bayer Leverkusen is hosting it but Leverkusen takes the lead 2-1 can Sporting with Victor Jokeres come back they're down 2-1 but they are at home or will it be Bayer Leverkusen it'll be Bayer Leverkusen it will be Xabi Alonso going to this Champions League final guys if Bruce can pull this off, it'll mean that Mbappe has brought over his curse from PSG to Real Madrid, and Real Madrid is automatically cursed in the Champions League. Can Bruce actually pull this off guys by the way there's no mods for fc25 yet there's no mods it's it's physically impossible to get mods for this game at this point in time so yeah i just pressed the simulate button and these are the things that happen sometimes it's a uh, club bruges 6-5 on aggregate over real madrid in extra time this is the final of our one club per league champions league it's Bayer leverkusen representing the bundesliga and club bruges representing belgium with andreas skovolsen and gustav nielsen both leading the golden boot department in this Champions League. 12 goals, 11 goals, and Jonas Hoffman, who's also in the final with Bayer Leverkusen, he's got 10. Skov Olsen and Gustav Nielsen single-handedly put Bruges on their back and absolutely carried them to this Champions League final somehow. An extremely intriguing matchup, guys. Club Bruges in white. Bayer Leverkusen representing the Bundesliga in red in our one club per league Champions League. As Club Bruges going forward, there's Skov Olsen. I mean, this guy... I can't. Is this guy better than Mbappe? Club Bruges, man. They have some good players. Skov Olsen. There he goes again. This dude is a, a superstar. Honestly. Drops it off. Vetlison. My goodness. It's Nielsen. Lucas Radecki. Lucas Radecki saves Bayer Leverkusen. We're 12 minutes in and this game already has everything. Into the box it goes. Jonathan Ta out. Only as far as Vetlison. Vetlison. Nielsen. Gustav Nielsen. De Kuyper! De Kuyper shot! It's Skov Olsen! It's Skov Olsen! It's Andreas Skov Olsen! It's this guy! He gives Club Bruges the lead! Sometimes heroes are born and superstars are made. And in today's video, it's Andreas Skov Olsen. For Club Bruges to win, this would be just such a monumental task. And there is Nielsen li linking up with Skov Olsen again. Soles, who scored a few as well. Radecki with the save. De Kuyper is going to take this corner. Into the box, it goes! It's out! And I mean, Bayer Leverkusen is just under such massive pressure here. Nielsen, heavy touch, but he was offside. Soles, he'll find Gustav Nielsen. Nielsen out wide to Hans Van Aken. Van Aken, Nielsen. Players in the box. Nielsen around top Soba. Vanaken back to Nielsen. Skov Olsen. Skov Olsen again. Shot. Oh, Radecki. 
Gradecki saves Skull Olsen this time. Dude, what is this club? Is this the most underrated club in FC25 or something? Solis, one time, another shot blocked. Andrich Boniface will get it out. We're approaching half time. It probably should be two, if not three nil for Club Bruges, but it's only one and Bayer Leverkusen are still in it. Grimaldo going forward. Grimaldo. The ref will probably call halftime any second now. Ref, are you calling halftime? No. Yes, he is. <laughs> yeah, I thought he was going to let him play for a little, but he didn't. 1-0 Bruges at half. 45 minutes for Club Bruges to win a Champions League on our channel. Just remarkable. I don't have any words. <laughs> I really don't have any words for what we're witnessing here. Welcome to FC25, I guess, you know? <laughs> Skov Olsen. Oh my gosh. He's just, he's just next level. Nielsen! Bro. The game's done. The game's done. It's Bruges. It's Nielsen. It's Olsen. It's Bruges. It's 2-0. It's wonderful. If Bayer Leverkusen want any opportunity, they got to get back into this game now. It's through Boniface. That's better. Bayer Leverkusen is pressing high up the pitch. They want this, the possession. They want the ball, but I mean... They're just get breaking through the lines, man. Look at them go. Look at Skov Olsen go. Andreas Skov Olsen. Taken on Hincapié. What a quality player. De Kuyper into the box. Nielsen! This is why we love these types of competitions, guys. This is why we do stuff like this on this channel. Because things like this happen. They don't happen often. But when they do, it's incredible. There's so much emotion, so much passion that goes into seeing Club Like Club Bruges winning something and scoring and eliminating big teams. <laughs> What are we watching? This is insanity. The final whistle is blown. Club Bruges will celebrate this victory for decades, if not for centuries. It is Bruges coming up to collect our one club per league Champions League trophy. An unbelievable performance. Brilliant from start to finish. But the player of the tournament, it has to go to Andreas Skovolsen and an honorable mention to Gustav Nielsen as well. They were both remarkable, clinical, and they deserve this trophy. Hands down as Simo Mignolet and Hans Van Aken lift this Champions League title for Club Bruges. My friends, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button for me and the subscribe button as well. The home of fairy tale stories in FC25, it strikes and it struck hard. Club Bruges, Champions League winners. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other, guys. Stay happy and stay healthy. Always keep smiling. And I'll see you guys in the next upload on the channel, which should be in the next day or two. Club Bruges, take a bow. You were brilliant. Peace.